like a low life. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Lunch Table Podcast. For this episode, we are reviewing episode five of Barry, the last season now out on HBO Max. This episode is called Tricky Legacies, and it's a very interesting episode, I must say. It's a departure from the main storyline, but Akram, what did you think of this episode? Yeah, so I guess um, I like how to start off that this show is very artsy. It took a very artsy approach. It's like a culmination of everything that had happened in the past seasons with their approaches and to end depictions of flashbacks. This finally led up to a time jump and we all thought that it wasn't uh, like Barry as a child. It was someone else um, or vice versa. And this time it's actually, no, it's true. This is Barry's son named John and they are living out somewhere in an open field um, and it's pretty dry and arid. Um, And I think that resembles a lot and just the dynamic between the two. Um, We see that Sally is very disillusioned and Barry is more religious, I guess, to just to fill that hole in his heart because uh, all the things he's done in the past and it's been really hard for him. And I think that's really realistic. Um, And I think it's interesting the way how they try to disguise themselves is also really sad too because it's like putting up a shell it's like a turtle hiding in his shell um and sally is a really extrovert type of person and now she has to like really disguise who she is but she's an actor at the end of the day so she has a, a southern accent mm. i found the whole thing pretty nice yeah yeah they're true actors in a sense because they're trying to put on a facade right they're trying to live a, a different life and kind of make themselves into their own characters in a way. And then, yeah, Barry is trying to be like more of a father figure. Perhaps he's, like you said, being more religious to instill like good values into his son. Perhaps he feels guilty about what he's done in his past life, right? Um, And this episode is called Tricky Legacies too. He talks a lot about like these very heroic figures from history and kind of like the deeds they've done. Perhaps it's like a reflection of himself, right? Because of his, his past life. And yeah, Sally kind of leads this uh, life contrary to what she perhaps thinks she deserves, right? She's kind of like in this uh, rundown bar, right? She's like serving like these old guys and she has like this uh, brief kind of like casual hookup with this guy uh, that's like a cook or something. Um, yeah, it was it was kind of like a, like a short like what could be in a way but it did happen i thought it was like a dream sequence but i think it actually they went through it um so i guess they escaped together and then uh, who knows how like what the time jump of this is right Mm, yeah oh no the hookup was actually not really a hookup it was uh it was a hookup in violence i i I like to reference that Mm -hmm. because it was uh some people which i don't like but some people just hook up and and it's like they need to expel their animalistic instincts uh. <laughs> but here her primal instinct is to kill she's done it before and she wants to release uh, the yeah. anger um and and you know i i really like what they what they did with her character i, I think again we talked about abuse and i i feel like her character uh stays on the tracks with how the bu- abuse is it, you know it's really authentic um and barry He's just nonplussed one about everything, about his relationship, about the the actual fact of the matter. He just wants to move on. And um, it's really interesting, actually. I, he, you know, it's it's kind of sad in a way. I kind of I looked at Barry and I really thought like he was like a family member, like looking at his face was very like naive. And, and for some reason, there's a sweetness to his face. Um, and now there are more stakes because he cares about his son. Of course, he doesn't want anything to happen to his son. Um, so we, we get a lot of shots of going back and forth. It's, it's of course really dialogue heavy. Um, but I think most of the dialogue was not really important, but I think it it cuts deeper. Like if you look at it, a face, face, um, surface value, it's not nothing really, but it really cuts deep. And it just shows how much Barry has changed, how much he wants to live this life of solace. Um, but behind the 
nice and polished uh, exterior underneath is something a lot more rusted. So, and we see the past comes back, you know, and we see Gene Cusa now <laughs> looking like an old hippie. Um, <laughs> what did you think about? So, give me more of your thoughts because I talked enough. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, we saw Cusa now back, um, and then uh, it was it was really brief, but they they couldn't recognize him. It was so funny. Also, I thought it was funny when Barry was like showing the. Uh, the baseball YouTube videos. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And they're just like casually watching like kids get like pelted with baseballs. <laughs> I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, it's like he's kind of like almost censoring his son from kind of enjoying life mm -hmm. in a way. Maybe it's kind of like a drastic uh, like parentage. Like maybe he thinks like his kid could be susceptible to like violent acts and he doesn't want to have his son kind of lead down this life that he's already lived um and he tries to make you know the best of his past life like he takes like the marine you know medals and he kind of like talks about like what he was like in the past life but like in a heroic sense mm -hmm. right um yeah i thought overall it was, it was a really endearing episode right it's a it's a short episode um and it's there's only like a few locations but you know it it, it really shows like who these characters want to be as opposed to who they are in reality mm -hmm. right i thought that was just so interesting yeah and uh yeah well that what the, that's a good point with the sun and also because they they literally can you know the sun is a big risk because they could go to jail if uh if something slips right um and uh, it's very poetic too i think i think they incorporated both the metaphors and the practicality uh perfectly in this episode and um and yeah so that was that's what last episode the ending was it was just basically the time jump happened there at the very end and so now we're here um it looks a little bit more futuristic too with the billboards i was really interested in that i was like wow yeah. and it was kind of mm -hmm. meta because they showed wb um and the show's mm -hmm. like an hbo max uh so yeah at the one of the parts i thought was really interesting was that there was a knock at the door and then they i think i heard children like probably playing playing a game so barry stayed out there all night with his gun and he was like keeping watch mm. uh so i mentioned you know the rusted interior well rust does take over and so you could see that he can snap back and and mm -hmm. be in full assassin mode and just wait so he's kind of like a guard dog um and he's unwavering too it doesn't matter what he did in his past he's unwavering because we do see that kusa now wants to partake in this biography or like this this mini biopic film movie or something yeah yeah, <laughs> he, yeah and then barry at the end like the sally screams barry and then they see that kusanao is going to be involved and barry's like we have to kill uh kusanao um so oh, what do you think about that I can't wait to see the movie. I hope you can uh, review it when it comes out <laughs> 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 <Shit>. uh, yeah <laughs> Yeah, I guess uh yeah, Barry's out for blood now. Yeah. I thought that was so cold too when he when he stepped out of the house and, and stood there for the whole night mm. too. I wonder too, like what's happening with like Hank currently, because we kinda left yeah. uh a yeah, cliffhanger with the whole crystal ball situation too. Sure. I wonder if he's like still out looking for, for Barry. Um, because he's the crime lord now too. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, the real question is will Barry go through with it, right? And perhaps it's it's weird now because like he preaches nonviolence, but it's like, is he a hypocrite? Like, is he really going? If he really truly believes the values that he's instilling in his son, is he really going to go through with this? Right? Mm. Tricky legacy, huh? Mm -hmm. Tricky so, legacy, yeah. exactly. Well, what would you rate this episode? Uh, eight, nine out of ten for me. I thought it was short, but it was beautiful. Like you said, it was very poetic, and it really showed off. You know these these characters like inner morality in a way sure yeah absolutely i would give it a nine out of ten to it sure it shocked me i was like whoa okay this is a time jump all right i see i see well let's see if he actually next episode talks to hank maybe he's gonna go to hank to get some help or something and it might be tricky and also what's going on with fuchs but that is our review dylan why don't you take us away 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching our review. Check out our other reviews for Barry and also Succession. We're still covering that on HBO Max as well. Uh, we have so many new shows we're covering as well. We're covering Silo on Apple TV Plus and also Citadel on Prime. So check those out as well. Uh, we are so busy with content, guys. Anything helps the channel. A like, a share. Anything helps the channel, as I said. But yeah, thank you so much. And until then, thanks for everyone with us. See you guys.